We are John and Patricia Payne. We have been given the awesome opportunity to be a part of the sponsorship of Baby Oliver. Baby Oliver is a child from Honduras. He's 10 months old currently. He came to the United States two months ago for a surgery. This uh, surgery was um, sponsored by World Pediatric Project, Mount Gilead, and doctors that took time out to perform the surgery. My name is David Lanning and I'm one of the volunteer surgeons with World Pediatric Project. Uh, unfortunately, Oliver was born with what's called an anorectal malformation, which is a, a problem where his uh, rectum did not uh, exit properly on his bottom. Uh, and in fact, it was diverted and uh, connected to his uh, urethra, uh, the urinary tube. Obviously, this is not compatible with life, and so he had to have his uh, colon brought out to his abdominal wall as a baby back home in Honduras. While this saved his life and diverted the stool away from his urinary system, uh, it's obviously not a, a great life. And uh, unfortunately, the family had to struggle with uh, uh, the fact that they did not have any ostomy bags. and. As you can imagine, that created quite a difficult situation for, uh, for the whole family. Also, they don't have surgeons trained in Honduras to perform this operation, uh, and thus they reached out to World Pediatric Project. And uh, fortunately, with sponsorship from Mount Gilead um, uh, Congregation and, and uh, Church, we were able to, to bring him up to Richmond, Virginia, and I was able to provide that operation to correct his anal rectal malformation. Furthermore, not only do we fix his lower GI tract, but we're able to then, several weeks later, take his colostomy down. So now his uh, intestine is all in the right position and working very well. When we uh, met him, uh, he was just like any other child, uh, active and ready to play. But our role we play was to uh, just stay with the mother and comfort her so that she wouldn't be worried about the operation. And, and during that time we, we bonded with her and we prayed with her and we, we, we just there to, to comfort her in, in her time here in the United States. The ministry as a whole, they're very excited. First of all, that we had a child that we were able to help because in Honduras they do not have the equipment that we have here in the U.S. That's the main reason that he was here. And some of the things that have taken place, gifts have been given. People are being created and just wanting to bless this child. He's got a call on his life and just as Bishop has prayed and ministered the word on there being a plan for his life. It's not to hurt him, it's not to harm him, but it's to give him an expected end. And that's exactly what we know is going to take place because he is not here, his mom is not here for no reason other than to receive more of what God has for him. I can't thank uh, Bishop Robertson and, and uh, Pastor Robertson for their leadership and the congregation as well for their continued support of World Pediatric Project. Uh, also Pat and John Payne um, have been fantastic missionaries and su uh, support and volunteers for World Pediatric Project. Uh, we're indebted to you and uh, once again um, I, I look forward to, to seeing you in person um, in the near future. So appreciative and I think that this just goes to show that you don't have to know somebody personally but it's through the love of Jesus Christ and all of us being brothers and sisters in Christ and helping one another so thank you all father in the mighty name of Jesus what a wonderful day that you have given us and we worship and oh God we magnify we 
we lift up your mighty and wonderful name right now and father we just we are so uh, thankful and we are so grateful that you have raised this church up and you have blessed us greatly and father we we reach out our hands across the waters we oh my god we reach out our hands uh, uh, father on different continents around the world to be a blessing to your people and father we thank you for this mother we thank you for this little one and today we come because we do believe there's a special purpose that you have for his life and lord you have healed you have delivered and everything else that need to be taken care of god we know that you are a great physician you have never lost a patient, Lord. So what you have begun complete in this young one. Lord God, we call him a mighty young warrior, a mighty man of valor. We pray for his father. We pray, God, for his mother right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray for your power and your anointing to even rest on him from a very early age. So right now, myself and co-pastor, we lay our hands and other intercessors stretch our hands in this direction. Oh God, in the from the oh yes, from the crown of his head to the very soles of his feet. Let your anointing flow, 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 flow in the mighty name of Jesus, and we give you glory. And oh yeah, doctors can cut, but only God can heal. And we praise you for it. And we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Some, my God, can somebody get excited? Hallelujah. <laughs>